Hey there, I'm Steph from the Nillion team, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a verifier on Nillion. To get started, go to the verifier.nillion.com page. There you'll see two different options. You can either store secrets or run a verifier. So let's click verifier. This will pop open a Kepler wallet request modal, and I'm just going to connect to Nillion testnet by approving here. Now that we're connected, there are three verifier setup options. So make sure to click your platform. I'm on a MacBook, so I'll set up for Mac OS, but if you're on a Linux machine or Windows machine, just click your selected setup. Then you'll see the instructions for setup. There's seven different setup steps for Mac, and I'm gonna run through all of them. The first one is to make sure that your Kepler wallet has some no. So you can do this by funding your account using the Nillion testnet faucet. I'm opening my Kepler wallet to see if I have any funds and I don't have any testnet nil, so I'll have to use the faucet to fund. So I'm gonna get started with the faucet by clicking start and it's asking me to input my Nillion testnet address. Let me open Kepler backup and find that address by going to copy address and then I'll copy my Nillion testnet wallet address. I'm pasting it in here and clicking continue. I'll pass the verification challenge and then I should be able to get some testnet nil in my account. Oh. I swear I'm not a robot. <laughs> Great. So the faucet will send some nil to my testnet account and then I can move on to the next step which is to install Docker. I already have Docker installed on my machine, but if you don't have Docker, you can use this link to install Docker. Select whatever type of machine you're on and complete the setup and fully install Docker. Then you can come back to the next instruction, which is to verify Docker installation. So to verify Docker installation, you'll have to run this set of commands from your command line. To use my command line, I'm going to run command spacebar from my MacBook, and then I'll just type in terminal. This opens iTerm, which is my terminal. I'm just going to clear my terminal and make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And the next instruction here is to run Docker version from your terminal. So coming back here, I'm pasting in the command, which is docker dash dash version. This is asking my machine if I have Docker installed and if I do, what version I have. So I have Docker at 27.1.1 and it's this build, which should match the build uh, specified in the instructions. That looks good. So I can run up, I can go on to the next step, which is to run the Hello World container. This container is just a test to make sure that your Docker uh, containers are working and running. So I'm just gonna copy this command I'll go back to my terminal and I'll paste it in and this will run the hello world container. We know that the docker container is running successfully if you see the hello from docker uh, line printed and it looks like docker was successfully installed so we can run we can move on to the next step. In step four we're getting a custom Nillion image so copy this command I'm actually going to copy a different one because I'm using a slightly older version. So I'm grabbing this, but you can just copy this directly and put it into your command line. Okay, so this has successfully pulled the container, which is nillion slash retail token dot dash accuser, uh, and it's looks like it's fully up to date, so we can move on to the next step, which is to install the container. There's two steps to installation. The first step is to create a local folder or directory using this command. And the second step is to run the container in your directory. So I'm gonna run the first step, which is to make the directory. That looks good. And then the second step is to copy this run command. I'm going to copy a slightly different command because I'm using an older version, but you can copy this command directly. So I'm pasting in the run command. 
and this is running the container. So back in the instructions, you'll see that there's going to be two different details output in your command line. The first thing is your account ID, and this is the Nillian address of oops, this is the Nillian address of the accuser that's running in your command line. The second thing is the public key of the accuser. So we're going to grab each of these pieces of information, copy them, and then paste them into the inputs on the verifier site. So the first thing we need to do is find the account ID, which is that Nillian address. So back in my command line, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger, you'll see that there's a line about accuser credentials and Nillian credentials. And you'll see those two key pieces of information that we're looking for. The first thing is the account ID, which is the Nillian account. So I'm going to copy this, and you'll know it's the account ID because it starts with Nillian. I've copied the Nillian account, and I'm going to paste it back in here. So I've pasted in the account ID, and the other thing that I need now is the public key. So going back to my command line, I see public key is right here, and it's this string. So I double clicked that, and I'm just going to copy the public key, and I'll paste it in here. Now I've got two check marks, everything looks good. I've got the account ID and the public key, and I can complete accuser um, confirmation. So it's verifying, and I just need to approve this transaction. And this will register the account ID and the public key so that I've got a registered verifier. There's two more things that we need to do. The first thing we need to do is fund that accuser Nillian account. So that account, again, was found in your terminal. Um, it's the Nillian account here. So I'm just going to copy this so I have it handy. And this is a different account than what's coming from your Kepler. So you'll have to copy this one, not the one from Kepler. Let's fund the accuser using the faucet. So going back to the faucet, I'm going to follow the same process I did when I was funding my own account, but this time I'll fund the accuser account. So I'll click start. I'm pasting in the accuser account from my command line. I'm continuing and I'll just complete the verification challenge here. Looks good. Oh, it looks like I have requested too many times with this account, uh, but I should actually have some testnet nil in the account, so it should be okay. Let me just double check using the Explorer to make sure this account is funded. So I'm just in an Explorer, and you don't need to do this step, but if you're ever curious to see uh, if an account has funding, you can just paste the address into here. And sure enough, this account was already funded with 0.01 nil, so I should have enough testnet nil in order to do all of the things that the accuser account needs to do, so I'm good to move on to the next step. Okay, so the accuser account is successfully funded, and I just need to do one more thing, and that's to actually run the accuser from my command line. So to do this, you'll just copy this command and paste it in. But again, I have a slightly different command because I'm using a slightly older version. So I'm just going to copy this. It's the same thing. It's running uh, the accuser. And go back to my terminal. I pasted in this run command. And now the accuser has started listening to the testnet. So it's automatically accusing um, and listening to every different event to make sure that things are successfully posted to the chain. You can see transactions being stored, blocks being sent, and indexing happening here. Now that I'm successfully running my accuser, I should be able to close this. Uh, and this will slowly populate with data, or you can look at data directly on the data tab. You can see the number of verifiers that are running, the number of total secrets verified on the network, and the total amount of data secured. And that's how you set up a verifier. Please let us know if you have any questions by posting them in our Discord, and the Nillian team will be here to help. Thank you.